Hey guys, now I'll show you how you can render the values coming in from the MPU6050 in the form of a 3D model using the processing software. So first of all, you need to connect the sensor to Arduino. You can um, refer to the tutorial for that. And soon as uh, you connect it, you then need to open up the Arduino example program for the MPU6050. You can uh, find it under the file examples, MPU6050, etc and after that the next thing you need to do is you need to comment out this line which says hash define output readable and you need to uncomment this line hash define output teapot so this is an example developed by the inventions company for their sensor so um, we can take advantage of that and uh, i have already uploaded this code to arduino and uh, one other thing is that uh, you should take care not to open the serial monitor um, as after you upload the Arduino code um, so uh, we just uh, try it out now um, open up the processing software and take the processing code for the same uh, thing uh, which is under the same folder for the MPU6050 and you need to edit this line if it's incorrect for depending on the serial port on which your Arduino is connected so for Linux users edit this line and for Windows users edit this line and next press this button um, in order to get the um, code started so initially you can see that the uh, plane like object is uh, moving um, or rotating so this is because initially uh, the sensor the values coming from the sensor are unstable so it keeps on changing but after some time uh, you can see that it gets stabilized and um, yeah right about now um, you can see that the plane uh, or the figure gets stabilized and you can see how uh, the figure changes with respect to the sensor um, when I tilt it. So um, the 3D model moves with respect to the sensor and depending on the attitude of the sensor the values coming in through the serial port are read by the processing software and mapped to the movement of the 3D model here. So you can build a, a lot of amazing stuff using the sensor like self-balancing robots, UAVs, etc. And you can use this piece of software to simulate the sensor and in order to check whether the values are correct, etc. So you can do a lot of cool stuff using it. So I hope you guys build really amazing stuff using this tutorial and keep me posted. Bye.